The history of the creation of the SR-71 Blackbird is a fascinating story that involves some of the most talented and innovative engineers and designers of the 20th century. Here is an overview of the key events and milestones in the development of the Blackbird. In the late 1950s, the United States Air Force recognized the need for a high-altitude, high-speed reconnaissance aircraft that could operate deep in enemy territory without being detected. This led to the development of the A-12, a precursor to the SR-71 Blackbird. The A-12 was designed and built by the Skunk Works division of Lockheed Corporation, led by legendary engineer Clarence Kelly Johnson. Johnson and his team worked on the A-12 in complete secrecy, with the project being known only to a small group of government officials and contractors. The A-12 was powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-75 engines and had a unique shape that minimized its radar signature. It was designed to fly at altitudes of over 90,000 feet, nearly 27 kilometers, and reach speeds of over Mach 3, more than three times the speed of sound. The A-12 made its first flight in 1962, and quickly proved to be an exceptional aircraft. Its speed and altitude capabilities made it virtually untouchable by enemy defenses, and its advanced camera and sensor systems provided unprecedented intelligence gathering capabilities. In 1964, the A-12 was given a new name, the SR-71 Blackbird, and was formally introduced into operational service with the United States Air Force. The aircraft was flown by a crew of two, a pilot and a reconnaissance systems officer, and was used extensively in a variety of Cold War and other intelligence gathering missions around the world. Over the years, the SR-71 was continuously improved and upgraded, with new engines, sensors, and other systems being added to increase its capabilities. It set numerous speed and altitude records, and remained the fastest and highest flying aircraft in the world for decades. The SR-71 was retired from service in 1998, largely due to the high costs of maintaining and operating such a specialized aircraft. However, a few examples of the aircraft remain on display at museums around the world, and it remains an iconic symbol of Cold War era technology and espionage. Overall, the creation of the SR-71 Blackbird was a remarkable achievement of engineering and innovation, and the aircraft remains one of the most advanced and capable machines ever built. Its speed, altitude, and advanced technology made it a crucial asset for the United States military and intelligence agencies, and its legacy continues to inspire admiration and fascination today.